Hello everyone, what's Gucci? And if you didn't hear that right, what's Gucci? If you didn't hear that right, what's Gucci? Hope you're having an awesome day wherever and whenever you're watching this. I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and welcome back to another video here at Most Amazing Top 10. We don't know everything, and if I'm honest, I think it will take us lifetimes to know everything, and even then, we won't achieve it. I feel like if we as a species figured out everything, then like, that's it, we, we've just won at life. We'd be able to do anything. But let's come back from that dream and talk about the top 10 questions science can't answer. Starting us off with number 10 is reality. Now we as humans, they as scientists, no one knows if reality is real and we can't prove if it's real either. And I'm not just saying that as a generalization. Have you ever woken up from an amazing dream or a really bad nightmare and you're kind of just stuck somewhere in between a memory and a dream? That feeling itself emphasizes that there are limitations to our senses. Our senses may not be telling us the full story around us, the people and things around us could very well be illusions and we wouldn't know. They could be constructs of our own internal mechanism or created by our subconscious. Scientists have admitted that they aren't sure if we'll ever understand the true nature of reality. The deeper we think about it, the stranger it becomes. We already keep discovering new forces, particles, functions, etc. that drive our world, so for all we know, the world could have thousands of dimensions that we'll never know of or be able to experience. I feel like that's such a mind explosion, we have no way to even prove reality is real. I mean, this whole thing could also just not be real and we wouldn't even know it. Coming in at number nine is ice. Now hear me out. Saying ice is slippery is just like saying water is wet. It's like how we can't explain what the color red looks like, we just innately know. Ice being slippery is just something we know. But science can't explain why ice is slippery. We don't know why we can't ski on boulders made of ice, but we can ski on actual ice. The most common common explanation given is that ice expands when it freezes, and so when we step on it, we compact it back into slippery water. But that's been refuted because there's just no way our bodies exert anywhere close to enough pressure to squeeze it into a liquid again. Other scientists think it's that the surface of ice stays liquid because open air is putting pressure on it. Others say ice isn't slippery at all. So I don't know what to tell you, and neither does science. At number 8 we have dreaming. Now if you're someone who has dreamed all the time, or someone that has like once a year, we can all agree we know the experience of dreaming. Now sleep experts and scientists know when we're most likely to dream during the REM part of our sleep cycle. Now REM meaning rapid eye movement. And we can actually see someone when they're in REM sleep because their eyes zip from side to side and they may jerk. If you have a pet, you've probably definitely seen it happen to them. It's so cute when they're running away from something in their sleep, like God knows what you're running from. But anyway, the one thing scientists can't figure out is why we dream. We know the when, but we just don't know the why. Perhaps it's just our brain releasing stress or reflecting. It could be like what Freud said and be about what your subconscious wants and thinks. It could be a biochemical way for our brain to sort and store short and long term info. It could be any of these reasons or none at all. Either way, dreams can be fun. Except I hate it when I'm sleeping next to someone and then all of a sudden I'm just like, and then I wake up hoping they didn't feel that and they're just like, are you okay? And I'm like, kill me now. <laughs> now filling our number 7 slot is Solitaire. Now I'm pretty sure Solitaire is the first card game I ever played because it was always on any PC back in the day or on your Nokia phone. Klondike Solitaire in particular is what we're talking about today. Scientists just haven't cracked it. Mathematicians have even openly admitted the fact we don't know anything about Klondike is one of the biggest embarrassments of applied mathematics. When they tried to figure out the odds of winning, they ran into some trouble. They couldn't even wrap their head around the number of possible winning hands. The mathematician concluded that 80 to 90% of hands are winnable, but have you ever won 8 out of 10 times when you're playing? That's what I thought. They cracked how to win Monopoly, which is a much more complicated game, but Solitaire is clearly beyond our powers of understanding. Now at number 6 is consciousness. That inner voice that you always seem to be talking to or narrating everything in life essentially, your thoughts if you will. Yeah, we have no idea what that is or where that comes from. Our our brain obviously controls our bodies and its functions and helps us think through life's hurdles, but the brain is not the mind. People don't realize those two aren't the same thing. We can't explain how electrical impulses in your brain, a physical substance, is able to create a non-physical substance, our consciousness. If we stray away from science, some religions say consciousness was given to us from God as a gift to guide us in this world. Now scientists theorize that consciousness is a bunch of biological processes that contribute to a more complicated thinking 
thinking that results in the self awareness that we have because of the consciousness. We've even determined that animals like dogs also have consciousness but not as developed as ours. Really I don't know how we've determined that because there's literally no way to prove that or figure it out but you know us humans we just have to flex and pretend we know more than we do. Coming in at number 5 are extinct species and this one may be a bit of an obvious one. These days in the 21st century most people think of everything as discovered. Not many people are out there trying to discover new creatures or places let's face it. But if you ask a taxonomist whose literal job is to go out, find and catalogue animals, they tell you that we are nowhere even close. We haven't even scratched the surface. Despite doing this job for 250 plus years, we still discover more than 15,000 new species a year. So they have no clue at all about how many species live on earth currently, let alone how many have ever in the history of life. Currently we know of around 2 million species, but scientists have estimated the number of species on earth right now is anywhere from 5 billion to 100 million. You know, small range, just a whopping 95 million difference. In the 19th century, in the 19th century, taxonomists said there were only 400,000 species on earth and we've already found 5 times that number. And all this is excluding the fact that 99% of living space is under the ocean and we've only explored 10% of it. At number 4 are bicycles. Yeah you would have thought physicists would have figured that one out by now but still nothing. The design of a standard bicycle has barely changed in 200 years and still no one knows how it works. Even the guy who invented it had no idea what he was doing, it was just trial and error. He knew nothing about weight distribution or balance or anything like that. Modern bike design schools themselves admit that the best bike designs come from experience and intuition, not science. And we don't even know how they're stable, how we ride them, how they keep going. For years scientists said we were able to balance because of the gyroscopic effect which is the force that stops a spinning top from falling over. But that was debunked. Others thought that maybe it was the caster effect which is to do with the angle of the front wheel but that was also refuted. So in conclusion ask a scientist how quantum physics works and he can answer you fine. Ask a scientist how a bike stays up and they'll be like Filling our number 3 slot is gravity. I really didn't think gravity would be on this list. I had to learn so much about gravity during school, I was like we've definitely got that one figured out. But evidently I was wrong. Now gravity is one of the 4 basic forces that holds our universe together but good old gravity is the only one that makes no sense. We can't comprehend how it's so weak yet so strong at the same time. And no matter how far you travel space wise, gravity never fully disappears. On one hand it's the force that holds our solar system in place. And on the other hand it's weaker than the force exerted when bringing two magnets together. The other forces in the world are controlled by their particles but we haven't found any gravity particles or anything of that sort. And if you go into it even deeper like down to atomic and molecular level gravity just stops working. We have more knowledge about what's inside an atom than we do about why a ball comes back down after we throw it. Now at number 2 is music. I think I love music more than anything legitimately. I probably listen to it for more than half the time I'm awake every day, I mean it's a vibe. These days the consumption and production of music is massive, it's a huge part of the economy and it surrounds us every single day. Now I can listen to music on my phone all the time, privately, publicly, wherever, whenever. But 100 years ago the only music you really heard were from church choirs, sing songs at home or fiddlers in a pub. An average American teenager now spends an 8th of their life listening to music and we have no idea why. Some people thought music evolved because it bonded groups of people together or because it helps attract a mate. But we don't actually understand music. We know it can release dopamine but why do humans find pleasure in listening to different combinations of vibrations at different frequencies? How and why did people develop the ability to even be able to create music in the first place? What's its purpose? It's not biological. If I had to imagine a world without music right now things, I mean they could be marginally worse but that also sounds like torture. Yet there's no biological need or or purpose or anything for music. It just is and that's all we know. And finally at number 1 is aging. Now for the longest time scientists thought aging happened because of the molecular damage that accumulates in our bodies over time. And this damage is unavoidable because it literally happens because of us breathing oxygen as well as other processes that are necessary for life. So you know can't exactly not 
do them. But because of that, damaged cells stop working altogether or they adopt new functions that can trigger cancer cells or degradation. And by the 20th century, life expectancy in the US shot up from 45 years to 78, so clearly we're surviving for longer, but we're still aging at the same rate. So we know the processes that cause aging, but we just don't know it in enough molecular detail in order for us to intervene and stop it. Almost all organisms age, yet there are such big differences in life expectancy. Take the naked mole rat for example. Its life expectancy is around 30 years, which is 10 times longer than a normal mouse. But what makes that even more mind blowing is the fact that naked mole rats have higher signs of oxidative damage than regular mice, yet they still live longer. So that experiment made scientists think perhaps oxidative damage doesn't cause aging after all. And so if that's the case, we know nothing at all. And that's it for today's video guys. I actually really enjoyed doing this one because I thought we had the answer to most of the things on this list today. Kind of like you know how you assume 98% of things have answers but they don't. I hope you learned something new today and if you didn't then damn I really need to get better at these. I feel like I was a science teacher all through this video and I don't even mind. <laughs> As always I'm your host Eamon Hassan and I'll see you next time. Bye.